Okay, I'm gonna see. This is day, it'll be almost uh, 48 hours since I put the two litters together. And uh, warning now, if there's dead ones, you're probably gonna see them. And sometimes if they die, the mom will eat the babies. So there might be some graphic stuff here. I don't think there will be at all. So I'll just warn you. There's the mom of the one here. I forgot to say she did have eight on uh, Thursday, I think it was. And one did die, so there's seven. The one that died, she ate half of. So let's uh, count them if we can. There should be, and I put uh, four more with her. I don't know if I'm going to be able to count these. That one there, he's going to be cutie. So one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait, did I just count twelve? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know. I'm not counting right, obviously, or there's more here than I thought there was. Hey, Mama. I'm not hurting them. It's okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, that time I counted eleven. I don't know. Anyways, whatever it is, there's either more than I thought or the same. So they're still all alive. Cover them back up so they can stay warm. It's okay, Mama. And yeah, I don't know which one. I mean, this is was her nest, so I'm guessing she's going to be nursing them. But I put her fur in here. Some of them were her babies, so I don't know if she'll smell them and nurse them. And you like hardly ever see a rabbit nursing. I mean, you, you can sometimes, but. They only nurse like twice a day or something. Hey, Mama. You got some bread in there for them? But, uh, it looks like so far it's working. I mean, I don't know if they're malnourished or what, but. And the nest that she had outside, we don't know for sure when she had them. We just accidentally stepped into her hole. But I think it might have been a day before she had hers. So like Wednesday maybe. And then my last video, somebody commented on this. And it doesn't look like it. The way this is angled. So there's uh, just enough room here. That there probably be a, some critters running through here is why I got the camera here. It does kind of seem out of place, but in the way that's angled, it's I don't know if it's wide angle lens or something, but you can just see this wall or actually the fence in this video camera here. So, so far, I've only seen my wild rabbit running around here, so I might move it or something. But that's the deal with the weird placement of that camera. Taking these nasty things. I say nasty because look at it. It gets so gross so quick. It's focusing on the wrong thing. But anyways, they bringing them back outside. Now it keeps going, it keeps freezing and above freezing and I'm going to have to mess with the water, which is why I had them in the house, but that'd be easier than messing with 
pure nasty mess. And then these quail, they're getting so big. I think they're uh, four, four weeks now. They're out of water. Made another homemade little feeder there for the coffee can. So I'm gonna grab these and bring them outside. Yeah, I got that out here. I was gonna put them back in this little pad, but really, I could put them in the old rabbit one. They got little cutouts in the wall that I could block if I need to, but I can open that one up on that wall. I can use the whole pen if they want. Probably won't feed them with the feeders, probably still use that feeder because they'll waste a lot. But I think I'm going to do that. It'll give them a lot more room. I can leave the, I don't know if they'll use it, but I can leave the tire in there if they want to kind of go in a spot to warm up or something. For anyone new to the channel, these are uh, Coturnex quail. <sighs> Pretty neat, they get to uh, start laying the eggs. I've had them at like six weeks. And they're smaller than a chicken egg, but they're supposed to be more nutritious, nutrient dense. And you, they're, uh, you can eat them at like eight weeks too. So really efficient, the time-wise, I guess, meat or egg production. All right, I just gotta get them some water. Just gotta mess with this every day, but it'd be easier than cleaning the pan. That pan, you if you wanted it super clean, you'd have to clean that like every day or every other day. Probably minimum. They sound like little crickets. There's no roosters in here. These are all hens. Got water in here now. And uh, see them eating. And they're messing around with the rabbit pellets. You can see, I got some oil sunflowers in there, plus a bunch of husk ones for mice. <laughs> Look over in that corner. And what worries me is the dog loves mice and she keeps messing around all underneath my ranger. I sure hope they're not going in there somewhere and going to be chewing wires. I got another rabbit feed here and straw in here, tracking them. This bothers me having my ranger in here. But, see how the quail doing here? I don't know if they'll... They're really ground dwellers. I don't know if they'll jump up inside that tire, but if they do that, they can stay warm. I don't know if they will, though, honestly. I don't think they will. But I got that opened up, so they get all three sections now. A lot more room. The poop will go right down underneath. Turn to compost. And less mess. I'm gonna check the rabbits out one more time before I let you go. Alrighty. Well, I'll keep you updated on these little babies. So far, it seems like it's working. So, see you next time.